Hi guys. In this lecture, we'll design the sign-in scene. It's pretty similar to the sign-up scene, so we can actually duplicate the sign-up scene. You can select the sign-up scene, then hit Command D, where D is probably short for duplicate. First of all, we need to remove all connections we made for the sign-up. All right. We don't need close button, full name, text field, and profile image in this scene, so let's delete those stuff. As usual, we'll use auto layout to create an adaptive UI for this scene. The sign in label is always at the top left of the scene. And we have three buttons, one for signing in and one for switching back to the sign up scene. The last is the forgot password button. We'll use it to switch to the forgot password scene where we can reset the password. All right, this text should be black color and add constraints to it. Okay, good. We now need to create a subclass of the UI view controller class to back this sign in scene. Name it sign in view controller. Now, as before, go back to the storyboard to link the storyboard sign in view to the new custom UI view controller class. All right, we'll code up the sign up for customizing in this class after we make connections between UI interface and class file. So let's go ahead and make these connections. As before, we select a UI object in the sign in, the hit control, then drag into the sign in class and give it a variable name. All right. All the steps will be the same as in the sign up. We create a method for the UI customization, put it in the view did load method, and all implementations will be placed in the extension of the class. Okay, let's create a new file that includes the extension of the sign-in. Again, we'll put some cool stuff about UI customizations here. With extension, we can use our code to be making more simple and understandable functionality. We can write separated and easy to manageable code as per our understanding. All right, let's copy over the one from sign-up extension. There's nothing new here. Okay. As usual, change the code according to our design. We don't need avatar and full name text field. Okay, all right. Let's see. Let's take a look at the design. This is gonna be the sign in button. Okay, let's change the sign up button to the sign in button. And this setup sign in button will be changed to the sign up button because we'll use this to switch back to the sign up scene. Okay, let's go ahead and update the attributed text variable. We'll need two attributes with different font sizes. All right, before running our app, let's make the sign in view as the initial view controller. Okay, we got an error. All right. We made a typo here. Let's go ahead and fix it. All right, rerun the app and let's see if it works. All right, great, fantastic. 